it is truly an honor and a privilege to be here today. It's very exciting to be here at this showcase event representing Indiana Michigan Power Company, who sometimes I may mistakenly refer to as Michigan Indiana Power Company in the Great Lakes State here. Um, and I'm glad to be up here with our partners in this project, the Three Rivers Community School District. I'll be very brief. I just want to take a couple minutes and say thanks to so many people that have kind of worked behind the scenes in getting us to where we are today. Our story begins about 15 months ago when the supervisor, transportation supervisor for the school district contacted our account manager and said, I'd like to talk to you about possibly partnering with you to deploy electric school buses in the district. And from our perspective, that's a win-win. Anything we can do to make that happen, if we can do it, we're gonna do it. And so for the next few months, our engineers worked with the school district and identified different locations and equipment issues. And as we stand here on September 12th, um, we're just about a month or so away from deploying two electric uh, school buses in, in the school district. And that's a win for them and it's a win for us. It's the first time in Indiana, Michigan, uh, power company service territory in either state that we've been able to service school buses. So we're really, really excited about that. We appreciate uh, the school district kind of championing the effort, identifying that opportunity and bringing it to us. But we also realize that something like this would not have happened without leadership at the state level from a lot of different state agencies and officials, obviously starting with the top at the governor's office, Gretchen Whitmer and her leadership, the Department of Eagle under the stewardship of Liesl Clark and all of the talented folks that she's got working on this issue. And as you've heard also from the Michigan Association of uh, People Transportation, I think it's a great example of how we can work both uh, publicly and privately in a collaborative effort to foster the proper environment and make sure we have the right programs and policies to make this work going forward. So having said that, I want to special say a special thanks to Superintendent Ron Moog from the Three Rivers Community School District and invite him up to talk for just a couple of minutes on how he sees the impact going forward on the students and also the greater community in the Three Rivers area. Ron?